mercy be unto you, family, friends, and neighbors, and peace be multiplied. Before today's inspirational words of encouragement, you will be blessed by the ministry of Psalmist Paul Lee. Beloved family, friends, and neighbors, let us be thankful unto Almighty God as we abide in the love of Christ.
Jesus. Today's inspirational moments and encouragement, scriptural reference, is taken from John 15, 1 through 17, and is entitled, Friends. Bless God. Who do we call friend? Who do we call friend? We may have many class of friends at different junctures and walks in our lives. What does friendship mean to you? Are your friends always there for you? Or are they only there for you when it's convenient for themselves? Are they only there in the good times, but nowhere to be found when things are not so good? Beloveds, we will do well to look at Jesus as our model when choosing our friends. Hallelujah. And he says, Herein is my Father glorified, that ye bear much fruit, so shall ye be my disciples. John 15 and 8. And near the end of Jesus' life here on her, beloveds, he explained to his disciples that they were more than followers or servants. He called them friends. And John 15 and 15, Jesus says, Henceforth, I call you not servants, for the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth. But I have called you friends for all things that I have heard of my Father I have made known unto you. Glory to God. Jesus was not like the so-called friends, beloveds, of the prodigal son who enjoyed partying and spending all his money but was nowhere around when he was broke and starving, having to fill his belly with the husks that not even the swines wanted to eat. My Lord. Luke 15, 14 through 16. No, beloveds. Jesus is patient and gives generously, no matter how we reject and treat him. Jesus remains faithful at all times. And even knowing, beloveds, that the disciples, his friends, would soon desert him and betray him, Jesus washed their feet. Yes, beloveds. And even after all of that, when Judas the betrayer came into the garden of Gethsemane along with the high priests and soldiers to arrest Jesus and to identify him with a pre-arranged signal of a kiss. Help us, Lord. Even knowing what Judas was about to do, our Lord Jesus called him friend. Matthew 26 and 50. What a friend we have in Jesus. What a friend we have in Jesus. Therefore, be comforted, beloveds, knowing that Jesus, unlike the disciples, unlike so-called friends, he remains loyal, he remains faithful, and he loves at all times. He truly fulfills the proverb, a friend loveth at all times, and a brother, a sister, is born 
or adversity. Glory to God. Is born to help in times of need. Proverbs 17 and 17. Beloveds, let us lead by example, becoming fully committed followers of Christ. Let us be more like Jesus. Keep on loving, even after we have denied, you have been denied, deserted, betrayed, rejected, heartaches, and pain. My Lord, as children of the Most High God, let us not only be in brothers and sisters, let us be friends. Let there be no lack of love on our part, being a true and loyal friend. For as Jesus said, greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. John 15 and 30 through 13. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, beloveds, even when it's inconvenient in our busy lives and you want to spend time on your own, dealing with your own problems, you may feel your friends are taking advantage of you and you feel disappointed. But as a good friend, you make time, setting aside your plans for theirs. Can you do that, beloveds? Jesus did. Yes, beloveds, it's about being a friend in a bereavement and sharing God's comfort in a divorce you did not plan for or a diagnosis of a serious illness. The list goes on. Help us, Lord. Therefore, let us enrich each other with scriptural truths, spending time together, building up one another. As iron sharpens iron, so a friend sharpens a friend. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And take a look at Ruth, beloveds. Ruth loved and chose to be a friend to Naomi, her mother-in-law. Even when the other daughter-in-law left Naomi to go back to her people. Ruth 1, 16 through 17. Glory to God. By staying with Naomi, Ruth entered into a relationship with Almighty God, who in turn divinely blessed her. Hallelujah. Be encouraged, beloveds, for Jesus calls us friends. Christ loved his friends. A true friend stays friends. Bless God. God bless you all. I am Minister G. Knight. Thy will be done. We say, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord.